Hello everybody and welcome to a very, I feel, new type of video for me. I essentially have spent a few hours and days and technically weeks thinking about different ideas for how I would change the add-ons for the pig in obviously Dead by Daylight. If you don't know, the pig is one of my favorite killers in the entire game uh, because it's also, you know, the memes of the boop the snoot. But also I love the ability to apply pressure on survivors and then also be able to have a lots of fun and interesting builds because with their power being innate slowdown, it allows you to kind of fuck around and find out with a lot of other things. So, anyway, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and we shall now get into the add-ons. First off, we have the common tier of add-ons. A lot of these add-ons are actually the same. John's medical file increases crouch movement speed by 10%. That's the same. Interlocking razor, failing a skill check at a jigsaw box, will apply the deep wound status effect for injured survivors. That's the same. Uh, combat straps increases the crouch state transitioning speed by 30%. That is the same. However, the one thing that is different is shattered syringe, which now increases the charge speed of ambush dash by 50% and reduces the cooldown time of missed ambush da uh, dash attacks by minus 50%. If you don't know, this is a slightly buffed version of Workshop Grease. Uh, because I have now changed what Workshop Grease does and also switched some things around for lore reasons, I thought that this would be a better fit for Shattered Syringe, because essentially this already had the cooldown uh, effect of it, so I thought that giving this the Workshop Grease effect would be the best. Also, generally the common add-ons are basic stat increases, so I thought that this would be fine, because uh, it's not too complicated. Then we move on to the uncommon tier. The only one that is the same is Razor Wires. Failing a skill check at a jigsaw box will injure healthy survivors. Increases the difficulty of skill checks by 20%. That is the only one that is the same. So let's get into some of the new things. So one of the new uh, abilities is uh, Workshop Grease, uh, which is actually a very new one. Uh, my notes are all scrambled, let's just say. So when you charge an ambush dash, you no longer oink until you have started the ambush dash. So if you don't know, when you charge an ambush dash, around 50, uh, when you get to 50% of charging the dash, you will alert survivors around you with a roar kind of noise, which I'm calling an oink because it's cute and it's on brand. Uh, so essentially, the oink will only come out once you've actually finalized your decision to do the dash. This is an uncommon tier add-on, and I think this really, really helps the pig, because it means that essentially, they don't know you're coming until it's already too late. Um, and, you know, characters like Wraith already have this add-on as a common, uh, so I thought that giving this to a stealth killer that really can't really use their stealth actually really, really helps. The next one we have is the new utility wires, which is na this one is the new in quotations, which increases movement speed by 6% during a ambush dash and increases the charge time of ambush dash by 33%. Uh, the reason why utility blades has this effect is because if you do not know, Amanda Young, before she was captured and baptized, quote unquote, by uh, Jigsaw, or the Jigsaw Killer, uh, essentially, she was cutting herself because she like really couldn't handle the things around her. So, in the memory of your foolish past, uh, your foolish past motivates you to focus at the task at hand. So, you're focusing, you're taking more time to do something, but when you do it, it's greatly increased. Uh, and I think as well, the idea that, you know, the ambush dash is the hidden blade that's literally attached to her arm, where she would probably cut herself. I feel like that was really, like, a good lore move. And it also works with a different add-on that we'll get to later. Um, another new add-on is Last Will, which is reverted back to its original state of increases available reverse bear traps by one. This should always be this effect. Literally, the entire point of Last Will is that it is referencing the scene in, like, Saw 6, uh, where essentially uh, there is a last a box that is the last will of John Kramer if he does die, which has a reverse bear trap in it. Come on, it's not that hard. 
Um, and then finally, the last uncommon add-on is Face Mask. And essentially what I've done for this add-on is that survivors caught in a reverse bear trap suffer from the oblivious and blindness status effects. Face Mask, uh, face mask does not hide the auras of jigsaw boxes. So essentially it's the same add-on, but we've added oblivious uh, to it. I think that these type of add-ons honestly should always be paired with like oblivious blindness, uh, mangled hemorrhage. They should always be together, like those two. Uh, so essentially, um, what I've done here is just make this like slightly better. Like I feel like face mask is always just like, a, why would I run this? But with obliviousness, it's like, oh, well, now I can actually walk around and, you know, like scare people essentially. Uh, so I think the face mask is actually pretty damn good. Uh, it isn't crazy because uh, I have changed uh, some other add-ons because uh, technically if this and the old version, which is the current version of videotape were around, you could essentially just walk around at the start of the game, uh, corrupt an invention, and also they can't see your aura, uh, they can't hear your heartbeat at all, and then you could probably get like a bunch of sneaky grabs and stuff, which although fun, I don't think that's a very good idea. Um, but yeah, now we move on to the rare tier, which has some sames. We have the slow release toxin. Survivors caught in reverse bear trap suffered from the exhausted status effect. This is the same. I honestly think this is one of the best add-ons for pig in a general sense. Like if you're not really going to change your play style, this is one of the best ones to run. Uh, and the other one that's the same is rule set number two, not rules set number two, as the wiki said. Uh, disables the survivor's ability to see the auras of jigsaw boxes until their reverse bear trap is activated. This is just a general good one, there's no reason to change it. So, buff. Rusty attachments. Injured survivors caught in a reverse bear trap suffered from the mangled and hemorrhage status effect until healed. So essentially with this one, like, there's no reason not to add hemorrhage. Hemorrhage is just like a general, like, yeah, okay. And it also means that utility blades can have a different effect. Which is the same effect, but a different effect. Because uh, I think the one thing that is important is a bunch of these status effects should just be paired together. Because a lot of the time they're just very inconsequential. Like, oh man, I just need to get healed. That's 16 seconds. Oh man, they unhook me. 16 seconds. Your add-on is useless. So adding hemorrhage is just like, yeah, okay, that's nice. Um, but it won't really change too much. One thing that will change, maybe something, uh, is Jigsaw's annotated plan. Each time a generator is completed, the death timer of all active reverse bear traps is reduced by 10 seconds. Uh, and then, whenever a survivor wearing a reverse bear trap is re uh, repairing a generator, that re generator's aura is highlighted to you. I've essentially put both of the uh, jigsaw sketch and annotated plan effects together, uh, buffing the annotated plan and also removing the plus one jigsaws, uh, jigsaw uh, reverse bear traps. Because essentially, with Last Will now just giving you one extra trap, uh, these ones d really don't need to have that plus one effect. Uh, but essentially, as well, I've made it so then the reverse bear trap's timers aren't increased by 10 seconds. Because the, act the, the, the bear trap has to be active. You have to do a gen, have the bear trap become active, which means they have to not be on a hook. Uh... Well, I think maybe if they're on a hook, but then the, it doesn't work like that. So they can't be on a hook. They have to be on the ground, you know, doing stuff. Uh, and then basically two gens have to activate for you to get minus 10 seconds. Uh, which, by the way, it's 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, so I think that minus 10 seconds for all active bear traps is fine, honestly. Because even if literally all five bear traps get done... You have like one survivor that has a bear trap. Oh man, they have 150 seconds. They can still do every single box uh, on the map. Uh, and then also including the other effect of the uh, Jigsaw's annotated uh, Jigsaw's sketch just means that you have a little bit more effect. Basically, it's just like, hey, look, it's like the other effects where you get uh, you nerf the survivor whenever you put a bear trap on them. But for this one, it's kind of like it's buffing your power. So I feel like it's pretty cool in that way. Uh, and the final rare add-on is the Bag of Gears, which is getting a small buff. Uh, increases the attaching speed of reverse bear traps by plus 50%. Decreases the search speed of jigsaw boxes by 15, not 14%. 
and increases the chances of triggering a skill check on jigsaw boxes by 10%. So essentially, if you don't know, the skill check chances on a jigsaw box is 80% every one second. So if you have uh, bagger gears and creative gears, you will essentially have 100% of a skill check every second. Uh, and also just increasing it to 15 seconds because obviously you use bagger gears and creative gears together. So it means that you have a flat 40% instead of 39 because I hate numbers that don't end in fives or zeros. Into the rare, very rare tier, we have Tampa Timer, which is the exact same. Reduces the default death timer duration of reverse bear traps by minus 20 seconds. I think that this is fine. I think the original one is a bit crazy. Uh, and I think this one just works fine. New Jigsaw Sketch increases the available reverse bear traps by plus two. I think this was the original version of this uh, add-on. And I quite like it. With the new changes that we have to the reverse bear trap system of no longer relying on luck. Uh, what this means is if you have six reverse bear traps. It actually takes on average. Uh, no, it will take every single bear trap basically two. On average, it will take two attempts to get the bear trap off, which does nerf your power. However, because you can just willy-nilly put bear traps on people, maybe it's a buff. And if you pair this with Last Will, you have seven. So essentially, literally, every single hook state, unless it's a death hook state, you can put a bear trap on someone. Yeah, that it's only going to take like one attempt or maybe two attempts to get the bear trap off. But that's still like maybe 15-20 seconds every time they're hooked on top of being healed that they spend. So essentially every single time you hook, uh, down a survivor, that is 30 seconds that that survivor and maybe another survivor have to spend in order to actually counter your power. But definitely you won't be getting kills if you use Jigsaw Sketch and also, you know, Last Will. Uh, buff to the Creative Gears. This one is exactly the same as it is except for with the caveat of the end. Increases the attaching speed of reverse bear traps by 50%. Decreases the search speed of jigsaw boxes by 25%, so total 40 if you use it with bag. Increases the chances of triggering a skill check on jigsaw boxes by 10%. So 10%, 10% equals 20%, which equals 100%. So essentially, if you run both of these together, you know, the jigsaw boxes are slower, you attach them faster, and they have more chances to probably fuck up on a skill check. They might not, but you can also run like one of these with uh, some of the other ones, like the Razor Wire, to maybe create some new builds as well. Um, furthermore, the final and I think most unique one is Amanda's Secret. So, as I said earlier, Razor Blades, something that Amanda Young used to harm herself in the past... Uh, Amanda's secret is literally the fact that she is still harming herself even though she's been baptized by Jigsaw. So, disables your ability to see the auras of Jigsaw boxes. I think that's still a really cool ability. You no longer make an oink when using Ambush Dash. So, like with the Wraith, essentially with his iridescent uh, add-on, you don't make sound anymore. You just do the ability. Uh, increases Ambush Dash t uh, charge time by 33%. So, with Razor Blades, you charge at the exact same speed. Increases the duration of Ambush Dash by plus one second. This is the thing that makes this add-on really fucking good. So, yeah, you can get some cheeky hits with the No Oink if you use, like, what, Whispers and Monitor and Abuse, who cares? But, if you actually, you know, sit down and think about it, plus one second of ambush dash means that those 50-50s on some loops are now guaranteed. Um, you don't even need a mind game, they're basically guaranteed. So essentially, as soon as they get to that loop, they have to leave. Um, which, yes, isn't that strong, but now, if you have this with the... Uh, good old razor blades, you might actually on some situations be able to hit them. Yeah, if you're playing on something like uh, Midwich Elementary School, or you're on a TL wall, it might just be that they fucking, you know, vault, and then your entire power is useless anyway. However, on various loops, where essentially the entire loop is a pallet, and then, you know, kind of like two lines, you will now be able to sit on that pallet, crouch, and they have to leave. And even if they do leave, they might still get hit. 
which I think means that, you know, it's basically invalidating your ability to camp the reverse bear trap boxes or patrol them and, you know, maybe get a few hits on survivors or create more pressure. But it then allows you to focus on your chase abilities, which is the thing that I think most people enjoy about Dead by Daylight is the chase. Uh, so that is Amanda's Secret, completely reworked and no longer is kind of like a tunnel promoting perk uh, add-on. On to the final tier, the Iridescent tier. Uh, buff. Amanda's Letter. When crouched, the auras of all survivors within 16 meters are revealed to you. Full stop. There's no need for this add-on to have a literal downside. The Wraith, a killer that has way better movement speed in his own stealth form, has this as a generalized add-on that has literally no downsides. So this, an add-on for a technically weaker killer, uh, who has, like, you know, basically no chase, um, and whenever they use their stealth, pa uh, stealth powers, they're slowed down, should have no downside to it. Uh, I don't understand why this would have a downside in the first place. It's an iridescent. It's meant to be strong. Uh, however, videotape. The Obsession starts the trial with an active Reverse Bear Trap installed. This add-on, I think, is really fucking insane. Instead of getting Corrupt Intervention, only one survivor the Obsession, because, let's face it, Jigsaw always has someone who he targets or obsesses over due to their choices in their life. Because they are, you know, foolish. They don't respect the fact that they get to live and they get to live unhindered. So because of that, that's why he targets people with his traps. And obviously Amanda, being a disciple of Jigsaw, would kind of follow that. And with videotape, she is being reminded that she was put in the reverse bear trap and basically had it be activated because she was the obsession of his desires at that point to give justice because um, she would cut herself. So because of that, videotape should focus on the obsession. And making it that they have an active reverse bear trap is really fucking cool. Obviously, if they're on a hook, their timer is nothing. If you run this with uh, something like Jigsaw Sketch, it actually makes it so then, you know, uh, it's way easier for them to get out. Essentially, with this add-on, uh, there is no add-on you'd want to pair with it other than Tampered Timer, which, yes, might be crazy. Um, and I think the only change to this add-on could be does not work with Tampered Timer. Uh, but, like, other than that, I think, honestly, I think this is a really amazing way to do an add-on. Uh, it is potentially, in some weird, bizarro world... Uh, able to kill a survivor at the very start of the game. However, I really doubt that that would happen. Uh, it's two minutes and 30 seconds that they have to go to reverse bear trap, look at it, uh, and it's on average three. So yeah, there could be the possibility of increasing the bear trap's time or something like that, but I do think that this is probably the best change to the add-on. Uh, I don't like how videotape currently removes all of your bear traps and basically makes your power completely worthless. Um, so I really enjoy this one. But yeah, I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day. Comment down below what changes you enjoyed, what changes you hated, or any critiques that you have. And I'll see you next time. Have a lovely day.